just stuck some fuel in this this is a brand new street triple rs i'll get my gloves from over here uh, pidcock triumph in long eaton nottingham have let me take this out today along with the street scrambler that i'm going to swap to in a little bit so i've just stuck some fuel in clutch in to start let's have a listen right this is the top spec street triple rs with 125 horsepower stated now there's been some dynos lately and they've roughly got about 118 out of them or something so it's a very close to what's been stated advertised very sporty uh, lent forward position riding position on this lovely bar and mirrors which are now standard on this which match the speed triple and that's a quick shifter This feels very, very nimble. Super, super smooth clutch, very light and easy to pull in. Uh, this dash has got about four or five different display modes. I'm trying to just cycle through them. Information, at the touch of a button you can go through the range, miles per gallon, all that kind of stuff. Although I tend to try and not do that as I'm riding, because it's quite distracting. Okay, so let's try this sport mode, just cycle through them, push that to enter. And now we are selected, so now we're in sport mode. As you press the mode button, just the bottom one to select and as long as you've got the clutch in and the throttle shot it selects them it's all a bit much to try and do on the move I've found though so I think the on the road price of this is um, 10,000 I've not really done that much research I'm afraid a bit unprepared but never mind the clutch is so light and easy uh, so they've upped the CC from 675 to 765. Personally, I think that's to counteract the Euro 4 restrictions that we've now got. And the Triumph have also won the rights to be the engine supply for Moto2 in a few years. Now, I'm fairly certain that this is going to be the engine for that as well. Lovely induction noise. Let's look, open the visor and have a listen. Got the other half of me today, she's on the street scrambler, which I'm going to be riding shortly. a missed quick shift doesn't take much pressure to activate it wow this front end feels stable best Brembo brakes in the, on the market at the moment are uh, mounted on the front of this. Wow, that is really stable. I don't think we've been out long enough for the uh, Diablo Supercourses to be warm, but it's still very grippy. 
the uh, super quarters is a standard on this model, not with the R and the S. Tunnel rev. As a well-known pirate said, Bring me that horizon. <laughs> very smooth, very smooth on and off the power. It's not a, uh, a light switch like some bikes. This thing goes. Uh, the, aggr the throttle is nowhere near as aggressive as uh, my MT09. This is very, very well suited for the track, even though it's a naked bike. Wow. The uh, height to this, I don't know the actual numbers of the height, but it's, it's low enough to be comfortable uh, on the balls of my feet. The uh, exhaust can itself is very quiet. The, mo the most uh, the noise that you can hear is from the airbox and the induction, but that sounds amazing anyway. Uh, not so much risk of wheelies on this one because you're so pitched forward. The fueling's very good on this. Let's uh, knock it down to fourth. See, steady speed. This is track mode apparently very easy to keep at a stable speed. This uh, full colour TFT display is amazing, it's like a tiny little, like a little iPad in front of you. The uh, rebound could do with setting up a little bit, it's a bit bouncy. Uh, one thing about these indicators, they don't move across very far. See, so I'm not quite sure if I've put them on or off. I'll have to give a quick double check. Only trouble with uh, test rides from that place, it's just a bit too urban. They haven't really got anywhere to go that's good for stretching the legs or corners or anything. I can see uh, you need in long, well, not long breaks, but after long periods of riding, you could need a break on your shoulders and stuff and your wrists. We do love a quick shifter. Even the uh, levers are quite state of the art on this one. You've not got the usual uh, adjustment knobs. You've got the proper Brembo type race adjustments here. So it's not just notches, you've got an actual thread so you can stop it wherever you like. You've got a radial master cylinder as well on the front brake. As well, obviously as well as your radial calipers. There's a rev. So here's the Street Triple RS. It absolutely flies. I must admit, the power is not as aggressive as I thought it would be. But um, it's very smooth. I think that's the main difference. There's a scrambler. That's going to be in a different video. Uh, but yeah, this is insane. Looks very nice from the rear, too. Right, so I'll, I'll give it another blast on the uh, throttle. Oh, 
Now how sweet is that? Okay, so a little bit of reflection on the Street Triple RS. Insane, an insane bike. The smoothness, the, the attention to detail, the quality, that bike is unreal. And it costs less than the Bobber. The cash price on that bike is £9,900. The Bobber is £10,500. How they're doing that, I've no idea. But it is... It is mental. It is mental. If I was shopping for a bike again, I think I would consider it. But, um... Jeez. It's insane. Yeah, it is great. I, I, seriously, I can't recommend that bike enough, okay? I was very, um... Sceptical of all the... The Triumph fanboys. I mean that in the nicest possible way. P please, don't take that as I'm being offensive to you. I, I get it, I totally get it. With the Street Triple, I totally get it, honestly. I see what the fuss is about. Like, I, I, I say this all the time, but this, the seating position is a little bit sporty for my taste. Whoa, what we got here? Oh, this is where Jitty Man did his uh, MT07 12 month review. I really, do, honestly, like, I'm just going to sing his praises. I get, I get it. I, I, I get it. Um, I just can't afford one. And I prefer something a little different. That, that's, that's, that's all it is. I just love this MT too much. <laughs> so, thanks for watching the video, guys. I know it wasn't like, the best review, and if you've made it this far, big thanks. Yeah, thanks thanks for watching. I know it wasn't the best, most informed review, but the, me and the other half, we were taking two bikes out and swapping. The Scrambler review got scrapped because of um, we witnessed an accident on the on the ride, so I just had to abandon it, which is which is a shame, really. But uh, you know, I had to stop. I had the footage. A guy, um, a guy was knocked off his bicycle. So you got to help, haven't you? No more, no less. That's a magic number